All right, so here we have two and three fourths plus one twelfth. We notice that the denominators are not the same. So we're going to list our multiples of four and 12, okay? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Same thing for 12 until we find something that's the same on that top row, starting with 12. Can I stop there? I can, I'm gonna circle the common multiple. Least common multiple is 12. So I rewrite these fractions with a denominator of 12. Okay, four times what gives us 12? Three. three. So I multiply the entire fraction by three thirds. That two will stay the same. So four times three is 12, three times three is nine, but that two, I cannot forget that two because that's two holes, okay? Then, did the denominator change here? No. no, so the numerator will stay the same. If you wanna multiply it by something, you can multiply it by one over one, okay? Now we're gonna add it up. I'm gonna add the fraction first. Nine twelfths plus one twelfth equals how much? Ten, Ten twelfths. And some of you left this as your answer, but you're forgetting, like I talked about those pies. If there's two whole pies that we're talking about, you're forgetting those two whole pies. So two plus zero is how much? Two. two. So the answer would be two and ten twelfths. If you wrote down two and twenty over twenty-four, that's also correct, is an equivalent fraction. But this fraction would be written in simplest form, okay? This is also correct because they're equivalent. 10 times 2 is 20, 12 times 2 is 24. So they're equivalent fractions, but this one is written in simplest form, okay?